Five days after the president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Nangagwa threatened Matt Abels with second genocide in his Unity Day speech, 22 December 2021, heavily armed state security agents stormed Kdi Palsiwala's home in Bulawayo yesterday morning for the record 16th time. Eight security state agents armed to the teeth with AK-47 NS, driving two unmarked vehicles without registration numbers arrived at Kdi Palsiwala home yesterday morning 27 December 2022 at 9 a.m. They found Kdi Palsiwala's auntie and daughter. They then demanded to know the whereabouts of Kdi Palsiwala. When asked by his daughter as to where they were from and why they were looking for Kdi Palsiwala. They responded that they received a command from their superiors on the 20th of December to raid his house and arrest him in connection with a case of treason it found at his residence. MLO views the above as nothing else but acts of cowardice by the Matabel genocide perpetrator and tribal oppressor, President Emerson Nangagwa and his government. We know that the panicking Zimbabwe government has been hunting down Kdi Paul Siwela in the last 10 years to assassinate him for openly demanding the restoration of Matabeland State before he went to exile and sending a notice of demand for the restoration of Matabeland State to the government of Zimbabwe while in exile. This is evidenced by a record 16 raids on Kdi Paul Siwela's home by heavily armed Zimbabwe state security agents during his absence. No any other Matabel leader had his home raided so many times under the racist government of Rhodesia or the current Shona supremacist government of Zimbabwe. Threatening Matabels with second genocide, intimidation and political persecution of Kdi Paul Suela and other Matabel leaders will not stop the idea whose time has come. Matabel and restoration is an idea whose time has come, the Shona supremacist government of Zimbabwe must do the right thing. Pay US $100 billion as compensation for Matabel and genocide and facilitate negotiations for the peaceful separation of the Republic of Matabel and Zimbabwe. Laughably, Kdi Paul Suela was charged with treason for allegedly attempting to overthrow the government of President Mugabe. But the power hungry, coup plotters who actually overthrew Mugabe through a military coup of 2017 are the ones looking for Kdi Paul Suela saying they want to lock him up. If a coup is a treasonable offense in Zimbabwe then President Nangagwa and VP Chuenga are qualifying candidates for Chikurubi Maximum Security Prison. I bet with my last cent, the next man to stage a coup is a Shona from Mishona land. D. Paul Siwela is the Moses of our time who will deliver us from the cruel and oppressive Shona supremacist government of Zimbabwe. The cowards in Harare are quaking in their own boots, is Enzo Kanjimazwi, Israel Dube. MLO Secretary for Information and Public Affairs.